What's up, drumheads? You want to sound like JD Beck? Well, you're not going to because you're not JD Beck. But we can try our best, and that's what we're going to do today. I've broken down some of JD's grooves, and I noticed a pattern in his playing. Pattern. Pat. Hearn. My friend Pat took a turn. I've kind of broken it down into like little Lego blocks, okay? And we can take each of these Lego blocks and kind of mix them and match them and move them around and create these grooves. And it freaking works, okay? So it's super simple, super straightforward, very easy to learn. The difficult thing is how fast he freaking plays it. These are all great patterns for coordination anyway, as well as like working on your accents and ghost notes. So before I get too deep into it here, let's get behind the kits and let me explain to you these little Lego pieces that we're gonna use. Super simple, very simple. Let's get behind the kit. Groupings of four notes, okay? We got three different types of groupings of four notes. First one, kick, right, left, left. Now section B is basically going to be the same thing, but instead of the kick, we're going to hit the hi-hat foot. So it's going to go hi-hat foot, right, left, left. Now, seriously, sit there and just practice these, loop them over and over again, make them feel comfortable, okay? Last one, C. C is going to be our backbeat, so it's going to start with the snare, and it's just going to be right, left, right, left, okay? And it's going to go snare, ghost, hat, ghost, okay? The only accented notes is going to be that backbeat, that snare at the beginning. Now we can play the groove. You got these little pieces, put them together, okay? The sequence we're gonna play is A, B, C, B. Okay, so A is our kick, that's the beginning of the groove. C is the backbeat, and B is like the filler, okay? So if we play it together slowly, it's gonna sound like this. Now you guys are probably thinking, oh my god, that doesn't sound like JD Beck. Obviously it doesn't. We haven't put any inanimate objects on the snare drum yet. So here's where you can take a pick of items, okay? You can put a splash cymbal, maybe a minor ching ring, a lid to a pot, even some peanut butter, or even almond butter. It all works. So take your pick, whatever sound you like. Basically all you do is replace your left hand ghost notes on that item. That's it. You don't move your left hand anywhere. Only thing moving is your right hand. Basically it. And also, you can move your right hand down to the snare. Keep it all on the snare, okay? But you want to separate those accents and ghost notes. We'll play the same groove and see what it sounds like. JD literally plays this groove. I'll put the clip here. That's the exact groove that JD's playing here. All he does is play this groove, but moves his right hand to the snare. It's hard. I gotta dampen it more. Put the peanut butter on there. I want to mention something real quick. Accents and ghost notes. Every single note in this groove is basically a ghost note. And I'm talking like the quietest ghost note you can possibly make, okay? And that one accent on the snare, bang, you can smack that as loud as you want. But everything else 
You want it to be like, I'm talking like this quiet, like this quiet, ghost notes, shh. Okay, so here's the bonus section. So I'm gonna give you another letter to add. So this is gonna be D. Uh, and it's basically just gonna be another Lego piece that you can throw in there whenever you want, okay? And all it's gonna be is right, left, right, left, and you're gonna hit the kick on that first note. That's it. So now you have four Lego pieces to work with, okay? And the reason I call them Lego pieces is because we can arrange these any way we want, okay? Get used to the patterns by themselves. Like maybe loop A and B over and over again, okay? Just go back and forth, go A, B, A, B. And think of that as like its own little lick, okay? Right? Practice that, just loop it over and over again. Okay, now try the new one. Try D and B, okay? So the thing that makes JV's playing so great, obviously, is how fast and how cleanly he plays this stuff, but also the variety in it. You know, you don't hear the patterns, really. He, he's, like, all over the place. You know, he's playing different stuff all the time. So, the point with this why I broke it up into like little Lego bricks, okay, is to not give you guys like, oh, this is a JD Beck groove, but these are like JD Beck pieces, and you can formulate your own grooves, you know? And then pretty soon you'll be able to just piece together your own like flow, your own like JD Beck flow, right? So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna piece together those, uh, move my hands around, I don't know, just see what it sounds like, and hopefully it sounds like JD Beck. That's the best I can do. Take those Lego blocks and run with them. Don't think of these grooves as like one big thing, one big sentence, okay? You wanna learn the little words. So that's what I'm trying to give you. I'm trying to give you the little, the little words so you can practice forming these sentences, you know, and come up with your own voice. There's already a JD Beck, we don't need another. If you guys do end up practicing this, please tag me on Instagram. I want to see it. I want to see it. Brandon Scott Drums. Thank you guys. Hope you're doing well out there. Check out BrandonScottDrums.com. You can get a free lesson if you sign up. Smack that subscribe button if you like the video. I'm trying to post every single week, keeping the content rolling for you guys. That's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.